when we say growth restriction for a twin pregnancy, mm -hmm. we are still saying a couple of things. One, either the overall estimated weight is less than 10%. Correct. Or two, the abdominal circumference is less, less than, than 10%. 10%. For twins, I'll put in a third little thing where you might not have growth restriction per se, but if you look at the two growths and the difference between the two is greater than 20%, yeah. we call them discordant yep. for people that have twins. If one of your baby's growths, let's say, is around 18% yeah. and the other is 99%. Yes. They're going to ultimately have a discordance of greater than 20%. Mm -hmm. You have one baby that's normally grown and the other that's bigger. Right. That is not as concerning as a general, you know, statement versus if you had one that was the 18th percentile and the other one is 1%. Right. Right. Then that's where we have selective, selective. growth restriction. Mm -hmm.